Hey guys, what's up? This is AV Vermilion. How's it going? So, today's video is another art video. It's all about, um, well, digital painting, mostly concerning about composition. So, this video is a composition practice drawing. Otherwise, I'll just figure out what to call this video. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, um, this time I'm using uh, Krita to do these compositional paintings and the subject of these paintings comes from concept art and in-game uh, images, uh, screen captures of Sky Children of the Light, which is a, a mobile game that I've been playing a lot recently, in case you guys don't know. <laughs> it's impossible to not know actually because I have a lot of videos of that. Um, yeah, so I decided to make this video, or rather, record this video, because it's. Um, I was trying to really improve my compositional drawings uh, around. Yeah, well, yeah, compositions regarding mainly uh, shape design and leading lines that help um, lead the eye through the whole painting, pretty much. And I thought, uh, I thought it's suitable to use Sky, which is a game that I play to pretty much be a subject of that because there's a lot of that. There's a lot of simple shapes, good amount of lighting, and a lot of leading lines that leads you through the um, environments of sky, which is really great. And there's a lot of it. There's different environments, different lighting situations. So you know, that's what I was doing when I recorded the video. Um, in all honesty, like these vi these videos, these art videos, in particular, they just kind of come up. I just kind of record them whenever I have time. I don't really have like, a, let's say, a set schedule of when I will upload a particular, like you know, figure drawing video, a portrait video, I, which I will actually plan to do a portrait video soon. And also now, this is a new one, which is a compositional practice drawing video. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, uh, for this one, well, you know, I chose Krita to do all these compositional drawings because uh, I'm not really used to Krita, but I'm looking, I'm quite interested in using it to my workflow. Uh, normally, I would use Adobe Photoshop, but like I'm, I'm looking into some other programs such as Krita um, in, in doing this kinds of stuff because I don't want to overly depend myself on Photoshop. I also want to explore other tools and software that other artists use. And another software that I, I, I use is also um, Sketchbook, um, which was formerly known as Autodesk Sketchbook, Sketchbook Pro. Um, it's no, long, no, no longer part of Autodesk because, um, well, they, they decided to like separate from Autodesk. So now they're, they are their own entity. I will leave a link onto their website and where the um, sketchbook went. If you guys are interested in that, I'll put it into the description below. But yeah, I use that. Um, not much on the desktop version anymore. I use it. I use the mobile version because that's it's actually quite more convenient than some of the other mobile drawing apps. So yeah. In regards. Going back to this um, composi compositional drawing that I'm doing here, I was mostly trying to separate everything into two values. Into two values. Let me repeat that: um, white, light, and dark value. Light and dark values. Well, yeah, pretty much just black and white. No, no in between colors as much as possible. Because like I wanted to basically have a good read of the picture, the painting, in just two values without without um, or, uh, overdoing it with um, uh, with midterns and other, all that stuff because like if I could grab the graphic read in just two values I could probably get it. I could probably get a good result when I decide to like um, pretty much split these values into you know uh, lighter or darker grays. So, yeah. So, this is a really good exercise when, um, when you want to, like, 
really focus on just the composition and just the, the shapes that are within the composition. It is, it is nice, but it's not exactly helpful when it comes to like, um, well, lighting situations. Let's just say that. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. So, um, I think there's a particular name for this kind of technique. I think it's Notan. If I'm wrong, please, please correct me in the comments. This is Notan, which is like breaking everything down into, yeah, lights and darks, pretty much. And Notan is very useful when it comes to like very uh, directional lighting or like dynamic lighting situations. When it comes to overcast, overcast weather, which all of my uh, all of the images that I chose from Sky are overcast uh, weather. It is kind of difficult to break things down into two values because, like, I wanted to separate one element from the other. I wanted to separate the snow, the clouds from the buildings. However, these snow or clouds or whatever are much maybe darker than the uh, sky which is kind of difficult, so I was trying to figure out how to separate the sky from the other elements in the painting in just two values without, you know, introducing the other values into it. So, yeah. <laughs> um, it's a good exercise. I do not recommend this when it comes to like overcast weather. Everything else, kind of, ev yeah, everything else works, just not overcast weather. Um, oh, what else was I going to say? I guess, yeah, Sky Coddle, <laughs> Sky Coddle, Sky Children of the Light is a really good game and also a good reference when you're trying to get like very, very good lighting um, or I guess simple shape language or line work. And yeah, if you want to do some fan art, you know. It's actually really easy to do it for Sky because of that, those reasons. And if you want to, you know, use it as a reference or like do some studies in Sky, it is really useful. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys like it. If you don't, well, this is just me trying to teach myself how to be better in compositional drawing. And I'm not good at it. I want to become better. So if you're thinking this is a tutorial video on how to become better in composi not compositional drawing or painting, this isn't exactly it. <laughs> this is just me trying to teach myself. But hopefully you guys somewhat learn from it. Something useful. So, yeah. <laughs>